Quickly, thank you. All new at 10. First, mysterious seeds. Now, new unsolicited items showing up in mailboxes from overseas. The South Carolina Department of Consumer Affairs confirms another type of brushing where items people haven't ordered show up at their door. A Simpsonville man tells us he received a mystery package postmarked from China containing several face masks that he never purchased. Fox Carolina's Matt Koufax joins us live from Lawrence Road with more. Yeah, Tori, the Department of Consumer Affairs tells me that to complicate things further, some of these mysterious packages of these things like the masks uh, that this man received earlier today, despite their return address being listed as Chinese, might have actually come from inside the United States. It's getting harder and harder to trace where they actually come from. They say this scam creates many concerns about personal identification information and sharing it. Scott Bartlett says it came as a surprise. It showed up and it, and it says one handkerchief. A mystery package with a Chinese return address that turned out to be several face masks. It has my name, my phone number, obviously he has my address. He says he knew this has been happening. I kept hearing about seeds. I kept hearing about other things. But he never thought it would happen to him. Third party sellers usually like on sites on Amazon or eBay will find your name and your address. They will send you some of their merchandise. They then create a profile in your name and write a five star review for themselves. Bailey Parker with the South Carolina Department of Consumer Affairs says the concept of brushing scams is becoming more familiar. Now this obviously takes a couple of different forms. We've seen this with the seed packages that have been showing up at people's doors. But masks are a new one. The reason we're seeing masks now is because of COVID-19. She says the best thing you can do if you don't feel comfortable keeping something is to give it back to the shipping company that sent it to you. If there is any concern that your account may have been compromised, we always want people to be vigilant. She says not all of this packaging comes from China either. They very well could have been sent from inside the United States. Adding the increased digital traffic from those stuck at home during the pandemic is a big contributor. Bartlett says that doesn't make him feel any better. I do a, a lot of online shopping. It makes me wonder who all has the information. Now, the good news here, if there's a little bit of a silver lining, so you don't worry too much, is that Parker tells me that there is absolutely no evidence at this time to support the fact that there is anything more sinister or inherently dangerous to these packages other than them just trying to get that five-star review out of another version of you. She also says that they want you to lodge a formal complaint and call them so that they can start to keep track and prevent this from happening in the future. In Greenville tonight, Matt Koufax, Fox Carolina V. 10 o'clock news.